Welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to show you how to connect up a Spectrum satellite receiver to something like a Seriously Pro flight controller. Now this is something that's been requested by a number of subscribers. In another video that we did we spent a lot of time talking about how to connect PWM receivers, SBUDS receivers, PPM receivers, but we didn't talk about Spectrum satellite. And so consequently that's the one we've been asked about the most. So in this video we're going to show you how to connect it up, how to do the wiring and also how to configure it actually within CleanFlight itself. Now the receiver, satellite receiver we're actually using here is an uh, orange one, so it isn't a Spectrum one itself but it operates in exactly the same way. Now there are two ways you can actually bind it to the radio. The first is to plug it into a normal receiver just like you would any other satellite and go through the normal binding routine. Once it's bound then we can plug it into the NASI32 or the Seriously Pro or whatever it is that we want to connect it to. There is also a way that we can actually connect it to the board and then use Clean Flight to go into bind mode. So here on the screen is the descriptions of how you do it. So unfortunately at the moment it's in the command line interface you have to go in there and set the bind mode on be aware that there are a couple of different codes that you might use depending on which type of receiver it is but either of these ways will work it's handy to know about the one where you can do it in clean flight itself because if you're hard soldering the receiver on and then once you have everything set up it's usually a good idea to rebind the receiver to make sure things like fail safe and the channel direction is all set properly in the event of a problem. Now to actually plug it into the Seriously Pro and do the wiring is pretty straightforward. What you have to do is you have to make a little cable connected to the 3.3 volt pad at the back because the satellite receiver needs 3.3 volts to run. And then you also need to plug the other two wires into the ground port on UART3 and then the signal wire from the satellite needs to go into the receive pin. Now once you have it wired up in that way then what you need to do is to come back into clean flight and go into um, configuration and then we go down and you need to select that you have a receiver, a serial type. Now this is the one that we have for things like um, Spectrum Satellites, SBUS. So in our other video we talked about doing SBUS in here. But this time we're going to use a Spectrum receiver. And you can either then choose Spectrum 1024 or 2048. Both of these will work, but one will give you the full range and the other one won't. So I would try 1024 first and then 2048. So you select that and then click save and reboot. If you go back into ports you'll find that UART3 then has become dedicated for the serial receiver and then if you go into the receiver tab itself as I move the controls on the radio you'll see that there they are moving on the screen. So now I have all of my bits and pieces set up. So that's how to do it. So very briefly, connect your bound receiver that you've already bound to the radio up to the Seriously Pro with the connections into the plus 3.3 volts. I'd use the pin on the back of the board, just solder to that pad, then connect the ground to the ground of UART3, the signal pin from the receiver into the receive pin on UART3, and then go into clean flight, go into configuration, and then select serial receiver, select Spectrum 1024, hit save and reboot and then you should be able to jump into the receiver tab and see everything working. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.